Boy, do I have something special for you guys today. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another comic book review. I've done a couple of these in the past for Cry Havoc, for Victor Laval's Frankenstein, for, uh, what was the other one? I don't know if you really call it a, a comic, but the, uh, not Tales of the Loop, the Electric State book that I did the review for, um, and I also did, there's one other comic I can't remember off the top of my head, my buddy uh, Marcus sent it to me, and it, was it Kill or, To Kill or Be Killed, something like that, but I've done comic books, the whole point of that mess was to tell you that I've done comic books before. My buddy Darren Kapoff, uh, sent me a message on Twitter, uh, just to be completely upfront and honest with everybody, me and Darren are currently working on a project together. Uh, this, however, is not his project. This is his friend's project. They did a Kickstarter for, for it, and it looks like it got funded. I will leave links to where you can get this comic book down there in the doobly-doo once I actually find out. Um, so, we're talking about Graveyard Slaughter. I'm going to take this out of the plastic. First off, they gave me, it looks like they gave me the full Kickstarter package. I did not back, back it because I didn't know about it back then. I likely would have. And once we get into it, I will show you, uh, I'm sure you guys will understand why I would have backed it. But uh, it's got a sticker, looks like. It says, Be Kind, Rewind, or Die. Graveyard Slaughter. That's not going to focus. Hush, Patrick, hush. I know it doesn't focus. Alright, um, and then I got, you guys know how much I love a bookmark. Camp Slaughter bookmark. In the back here. And then this, I don't know if this is actually a video game or what, but there was this card in it. It says Barbaric Days. And uh, it says A Brutal Video Computer Experience. Uh, art by Javier Salters. Uh, VGE Video Game Experiences. It does say uh, Graveyard Slaughter, and it seems to be based on the first story uh, in this anthology. And yes, I said anthology because this amazing comic book is just like the old Creep Show and Tales from the Crypt comics. Well, it's not old Creep Show comics, but uh, it's like Cri Creep Show, um, the Tales from the Crypt comics, that kind of thing. Tales of Terror, all that. The, uh, the book is broken up into four short segments, um, probably about 15 pages each, roughly, I think. Maybe even as, as little as 10 for some of them. Uh, the, the stories uh, range widely from uh, slasher kind of things, to aliens, to uh, the, uh, the undead, all different kinds of plot points. But there are also four individual segments told from inside a uh, video game arcade, a uh, movie store, several different things. The high point of this collection is the artwork. Every single artist did a bang up job. It is all in black and white, but you are dealing with individual characters, with their individual designs, and it's just, uh, I'm gonna get demonetized if I show that, uh, let's see here. but. You have things like this, where every character has their own face, every character has their own attitude, and that's one of the things that I ran into a problem with a book, I think it was Sisters of Sorrow, something like that. That's another comic that I reviewed on this channel. I wasn't getting much character. Um, not only was I not getting character development, but I wasn't getting much uh, in the way of the characters looking the same from frame to frame, which is rather rather bad when it comes to a comic book. Um, it'd be like Superman looking different in every single frame, and that's that's happened, of course, um, but, you know, this is every single frame these people look different. In this one, they did a really, really good job of each character maintaining the same facial structure, at the very least. You got creepy shit like this. This is really, I mean, this, I'm, I am blown away by the quality of this comic. Uh, there, the four different sections are Barbaric Days. Barbaric Days? Is that what this one says? Yeah, it does say Barbaric. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Not Barbarian Days. Uh, Truth or Dare. Kill with One Eye Open, which is easily my favorite in this collection. Uh, it reminds me a lot of... There's a, there's a, movie, there's a movie anthology called Hol Tales of Halloween. And there's a segment in there almost like this, but the twist in this one... I like the twist in this one more than I like the twist in the movie. And then the last one's called Cheating. 
cheating was a whole hell of a lot of fun. Um, I love stories about kids, and these are kids in a graveyard playing hide and go seek, and it it ends wonderfully. Uh, the the hang on, kill with one eye open is the one with the slasher that I that I've really enjoyed also. Truth or Dare um, was probably the only weak story in here for me. The artwork is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, but the it probably if I had to pick like a least favorite, that would be my least favorite. And then Barbaric Days was was pretty rad too. Uh, Barbaric Days, I, I once again the artwork is outstanding. Um, <clears throat> and then you have stuff like this on the back. Vampire Lady. There, there are so many Easter eggs, so much goodness in here for fans of horror movies, especially slasher films, um, just uh, horror movies in general, but I would say especially slasher films. Uh, there, there is one, there's a note, there's a nod to Aliens, there's a nod to, uh, let's see here, not Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, there's nods to all these, these different movies throughout, and it's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, this is number one. Like I said, it was a Kickstarter, so this is a jumping off point. This is number one in Graveyard Slaughter. I think the se Graveyard Slaughter is the name of the series. I think Video Hell is the name of the the issue. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. But it was written by Cullen Bunn and Kevin Watkins. Art by Javier Salters. If I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. Blackie Shepard, Adam McLaughlin, and Gary Bettel. So yeah, um, definitely go check this out. The publisher is Lunchbox Comics. Their little thing. It basically, it's uh, it's Lunchbox, but almost in that word world. And he got they got kids. You ever watch Word World? Word World, kind of that thing, but it's a lunchbox made out of words. Um, so it's Lunchbox Press. Title is Graveyard Slaughter. Subtitle is Video Hell. Please go check it out. Um, like I said, I don't know where to buy it right now, but I will let I will leave links or I will pin if the creators. Or my friend Darren wants to post a comment on where you can buy this, all the places they can buy it. Please do post it down there in the comments, and I will pin your tweet. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been a comic book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye! Oh, and many thanks to Darren and the publishers of the, the writers, artwork, the, all these people who worked on it. Thanks so much for a review copy of the book. I appreciate you.